And just like we promised, man, we've got somebody on the phone that we're fans of, we're friends with, and we're definitely supporters of, Mr. Matt Jamison from the legendary Good Times. What it is, bro? Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, man. Uh, so you're enjoying some sunshine and food today, but you've been you've been making some music, and I'm super happy to hear that you have a new album coming out. And what's it called, bro? Uh, the name of the new album is called Yowl at the Moon, which is a, a glorious cat reference, in case people are wondering why it's not Howl at the Moon. Ah, makes sense to me. You're a cat lover kind of guy, right? Absolutely. Most people, uh, I think, that play in uh, any kind of rock and roll band if you look in historic uh, footage, you'll find pictures of cats, especially them in metal bands as well. Uh, cats seem to be a common theme. Yeah, especially black ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Uh, I know your CD release party is coming up too. Let's make sure we j- definitely promote that. That's happening on the 1st of July in Medford, but you want to tell the folks what time and where? Sure. That's happening out at Walkabout Brewing in Medford. That's kind of between Medford and Central Point off of 99. And uh, Walkabout's a fantastic uh, all-ages venue up to a certain point at night. And so uh, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., we're going to be throwing a show. So that way we can invite the all-ages crowd. You can bring out the whole entire family. And we're going to set it up so kids under 12 are absolutely free to get in. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, $15 at the door for everybody else. Awesome, dude. And so how many songs can we expect on this badass new album? Because I've heard a few tracks, and when I say badass, I can sincerely say it is badass. So how many tunes, man? Well, we got uh, 10 tracks on it. We wanted to do a full length. Uh, originally planned for 12, but there were 10 that stood out as really being a solid collection. So we put those out, and uh, we're real happy with the result of that. Awesome, and I know you recorded over at Blue Jay Productions with Mark Johnson over in Jacksonville. How was that experience? Well, actually, this time around, we did it different. We've always done our records over there, over there with Mark. He's fantastic. And our first two records we did, Real to Real. And to find an engineer that knows how to do true Real to Real recording is pretty tough. And we were lucky enough to already uh, have a good relationship with Mark through music and uh, so he did our first two records but this time around due to the shutdowns and everything that happened and us uh, not really playing shows at that time didn't have the budget that we once had to do the record so we decided to do it all at home so this record is recorded in our practice room in my house wow I'm telling you I've heard several tracks and it you know is very professionally recorded Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we took a lot of time working on it, the project. The music was written uh, about uh, up to four years ago and on is when we started writing, but then we started recording very seriously in November. But before November, we spent months and months working on that room, testing microphones out because we wanted to be true to the sound we'd had before and, if possible, even fool people into believing it wasn't done in my sight. (laughs) <laughs> Good job, bro. Um, for those that don't know, can you tell everyone and introduce the other guys from your band so we all know? Absolutely. Uh, the band consists of uh, three of us as the original members, and that's myself and Mark J. Anderson. He's our drummer. And David Moore is our other guitar player and bass player. Me and Dave share both guitar and bass duties and switch up on songs. Yeah, I haven't seen Mark and David for a while. Those guys are awesome dudes, great musicians. Didn't you, for a while, a short time, have a horn player in your band? Yeah, that was going to be my next uh, point for sure, is we were lucky enough to have uh, uh, had Brian Reisling, who used to be local uh, to our area. He's since moved, but uh, he's a world-class, phenomenal saxophone player. He was in many projects around here, but probably most well-known for his own uh, Brian Reisling and Airtight Alibi. Um, but he played with us uh, for about two years whenever he was available and uh, just phenomenal addition to the band. And he's unfortunately not present on this record because he had already moved uh, before we were completing all of these songs. But you can hear him on our live record uh, called Live at the Hall, recorded in Grants Pass, and there's a phenomenal example of his talent all over that record. Sweet, man. Is this your third album or fourth with Good Times? So this would technically be the fourth, but it's really our third album. The uh, live record is a collection of songs from our 
our previous two releases and a smidgen of new stuff. So uh, this is really our third uh, unique record. And so I've been telling people it's our third, but if you count the live record, we've got four out there. Very cool, man. And how does this stand up next to the other albums, in your opinion? Is this uh, better? Are you really loving the stuff? Uh, you know, we uh, we took time on this. When you have reel-to-reel recording uh, like we had on our first two records, it's very expensive to afford that tape. It's just not mm. manufactured much anymore. So you have a limited time uh, to get the songs on the final record, and that translates into only one or two takes for each song, and you have to just go with the best one. When you record digitally, like we did this time, uh, you have as many takes as you need. And so we didn't want to use that in a deceiving way, but we thought, well, this could allow us to do things slower than we've done before and really kind of take a little more time. And as a result, I feel that this record sounds really, really tight. It was still recorded as a live record, all three of us playing at the same time but it really sounds as if it were tracked out individually and so you can hear a little bit higher quality on uh, on that part of it but overall i'm super proud of the guys in the band they all turned in in my opinion their best performances that they've done so far and uh we all are of the opinion that we feel it's our best record you always hear bands say that each time they release one but uh i think if people have heard any of the other two and then they listen to this, uh, this might end up being your favorite. It's a real solid collection of tunes that works fantastic, whether you're out on the weekend doing something fun with your friends or if you're having kind of a uh, introspective personal moment. There's moments on this record for every kind of those things. Well said. You're listening to KSKQ Community Radio and the Church of Rock Radio Show. KSKQ is 89.5 FM Ashland, 94.1 FM Medford, Oregon. Matt Jamison is our guest. The legendary Good Times is the band and their CD release party happening July 1st. It's Walkabout Brewery in Medi, right? Yep, absolutely. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to talk about while we have you on the phone? Because we definitely want to get to some of your music. We're going to do a song called All the Way Down. Maybe I should ask what that's about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I always love talking about the meaning behind songs because it's so personal. And uh, if you were to guess, oftentimes you're wrong uh, on most of the songs that you hear. And for me, uh, this song is basically all about trying to create some kind of unity in the current times Uh, there's so many things that are constantly out there for people to argue about and things are very divisive right now there's all these issues you have to pick a side about and it often alienates friends and family over small opinions over things that in the general scheme of things don't actually matter much right you'd almost think that it was planned that way huh right right exactly (laughs) yeah this this engineered uh way to keep us from being able to really unite and that's exactly what this song is about it's about the opposite. It's talking about uh, knowing your roots and some of those roots uh, being our obligation to our fellow man and what we can do to help out and how we can have a little more community. And it's a little veiled, but I think when you listen to the song, it's really about trying to connect, uh, bring people together and realize that despite where your points of origin are, we all have a common thread. Well said, Matt. Tracy, anything you'd like to interject before we jump into this cool tune that I... I I just really want to say that I'm really, really looking forward to this release. Uh, it's been, it just seems like it's been, <laughs> I said earlier, I know it's been, a, what, three years? But it feels like it's been ten. And <laughs> yeah, a lot's happened. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I'm just really excited, Matt, to uh, to hear what you guys have done. And you're one of my favorite bands to go see live. So I'm looking forward to catching you guys out at a live show and thanks so much for coming on the church tonight we really appreciate it absolutely thanks for having me so much and on this uh, next track look out for the keyboard sound you're going to hear that's uh, from uh, mark johnson who used to record our records uh, we always have a little feature for him so he did some real funky stuff you're about to hear awesome thanks again it's all the way down it's the legendary good times thank you matt jameson thanks matt absolutely. rock on bro and you are at kskq church of rock Thanks for listening, man.